Whoa! Stars everywhere. What happened to me? <laughs> Ouch! What's this word schnibble that keeps popping up? Come closer. You have something there. Oh. <laughs> yes, sir. That house behind us. Who does it belong to? It belongs to Professor Asimov. He's a respected man known for his scientific work on time. Something must have happened here tonight. And can you tell me who I am? I don't know you. I've never seen you around here before. Dear friend, have you heard about the schnibble yet? The schnibble? Of course. It's thanks to him that the best things can happen. Professor Azimuth discovered him for everybody's well-being. What happened in this house? I can't remember anything. I didn't see anything. But I heard that J.F. Sebastian knows about it. I've never seen you around here before. Have you paid all your taxes? Uh... <laughs> what a weird thing. I wonder what it's used for. Burger? Must be a local delicacy. There's a nice bazook cut that I'd love to put my hands on. It's not safe to go that way. There are roadblocks and I don't have my ID. Ah, looks like boots. Good. I'd like to wear something on my feet. Unfortunately, I can't make out what's inscribed because I can't read. Unfortunately, I can't make out what's inscribed because I can't read. Uh, buddy, why are you so sad? Uh, we bazooks are being oppressed and exploited in the city. <laughs> I'm new in this town. Uh, can you tell me how to find my way around here? Bad. Very bad. The food is atrocious, and the water is not even drinkable. The humans that govern burden us with many taxes and obligations. So nobody complains? You don't fight back? Impossible. Our king has been completely incapacitated by the humans. He is waiting for the schnibble to come forth. He says he is our only hope. <laughs> and what becomes of your wives and, and children? Those who do not abide are sent out to the jungle. Our women are depraved. Our young people are on drugs and jobless. <laughs> Uh. 
hello, miss. Do you live in this neighborhood? Indeed. But I've never seen you there before. And the Schnibble knows how good I am at remembering faces. I can remember every single face I have met, may it be only once. Um, do you know the Schnibble? Yes. He embodies all that is beautiful and harmonious in us. Professor Azimuth, heard of him? Certainly. He is a learned person with an attractive physique. It's rare. Hey, friend, isn't there too much water? Do you think I can cross? Absolutely. There's no danger. You can go ahead. Trust me. You <laughs> snibble face. Can't trust you, can I? I refuse to talk to this treacherous, deceitful person anymore. Do you live in the area? Uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. You look so much alike. Are you uh, twins? Okay, drop it. 
I won't get anything out of him as long as he's plastered. Then I grabbed a handful of feathers. Those were the good old days. Woodruff, you are not going to enter this ignominious place, are you? Behind these doors lies a garden of delights. Go on, Woodruff, that's good. Go on. <sighs> ah. <laughs> Hey, buddy, do you come here often? I say, what's the idea of talking to me like that? We haven't been introduced yet. Are you up to date paying your taxes? Did you pay tax on alcohol content? But I do know you. You are little Woodruff, Azabeth's adopted son. So then you know who I am? What? Well, who are you? I am your school teacher. Bye, you've grown so much. I don't remember a thing. You're saying that Azimuth is my adopted father? Yes, something terrible must have happened because Azimuth disappeared. Now that I know he's my father, I'm going to look for him more actively. That's what he would have wanted. Here, he gave Beavis to keep for you. Thank you. But tell me, who is J.F. Sebastian? That's the lightly bearded Ben over there. Why? Do you know him? Quick! Give me something so that I can teach you how to read before I leave. Oh, sorry to bother you, but you must be J.F. Sebastian, the famous literary critic. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Woodruff. Mm, nice to meet you, young man. You wish to talk to me? I heard that you might have information about what happened at Professor Azimuth's. Yes, I saw a man dressed in black entering, and I even recognized the Bigwig. Bigwig? Who is that character? He is the president's right hand, but his government is a masquerade. You think then that the, the big wig kidnapped Azimuth? For what reason? Because Azimuth is a dissident who preaches subversive ideas. Oh, yeah. About freeing the bazooks. He's in grave danger then. Oh, yes. No doubt about it. Since the big wig is also very interested in Azimuth's work on time, Yeah, that's it. I remember now. It all makes sense. I remember the tragic day Azimuth was taken away by the men of the bigwig, the same brute who ruthlessly shot my teddy bear later. Ah, the cruel monster. I'll have to find my daddy Azimuth and his schnibble. <laughs> 